Hello, welcome back to Time Out for the Alphabet with Miss T, and that is me. How are you today? I hope you are doing well. I'm doing well, and if you hear a little noise in the background, it's thundering and raining really heavy here. But we are going to take our time and talk about something called ordinal numbers. And what are ordinal numbers? ordinal numbers tell you where something is. So, if you line up with your friends in a line and there is someone in the front, what number are they? Yes, they're number one, but it's called the first person in line. And if you have 10 of you, the person in the back of the line is what number? Yes, they are the 10 number 10 and they are the 10th person. So we are going to talk about ordinal numbers and we're also going to use some letters to just help us to discuss ordinal numbers. We have to have our letters. So I have a little song for you to talk about ordinal numbers. And I have my little handy chart here and we go up to the number 12 because it kind of looks like a clock. So here we go. Ordinal numbers tell you where something goes. Ordinal numbers, I'm going to show you. Ordinal numbers can fill up a space. Tell you how someone finished his in a race. Ordinal numbers, I know you'll agree. They end with T H R D N D N S T. Ordinal numbers. Ordinal numbers, come and count the ordinal numbers with me, Miss T. All right, are you ready? Hope you like my little song. So here is our chart with our ordinal numbers, and we're going to just count around, and I'm going to show you the letters that start from the first letter to the 12th letter. Are you ready? Here we go. We have number one, and that would be the first. We have the two, and that would be the second. We have a three, and that will be the third. We have a four, and that will be the fourth. We have a five, and that would be the fifth. We have a six, and that would be a the sixth. See how I'm saying sixth with the TH. We have the number seven, and that would be seventh. We have an eight, and that would be eighth. We have a nine, and that would be ninth. We have a 10, and that would be 10th. We have an 11, and that would be 11th. And we have a 12, and that would be 12th, the 12th number. So let's go over our letters up to the 12th letter. And let's do that again. A is the first letter, ST, number one with an ST. B is the second letter, and that would be a two with an ND on the end. The C is the third letter, and that would be a three with an RD. The D is the fourth letter, and that would be a four with a TH. The E is the fifth letter, and that would be a five with a TH. The F is the sixth letter, and that would be a six with a TH. There are a lot of THs. G would be the seventh letter, and that's a seven with the TH. H would be the eighth letter, and that's the number eight with a TH. I would be the ninth letter, and that is a nine with the TH. J would be the tenth letter, and that's the number 10 with the TH. L would be the eleventh letter, and that is an 11 with the TH. And K is the 12th letter, 
and that's the number 12 with the th just like we have on our chart so we just went over a through k that's the first letter all the way up into the 12th letter and that's how you say your ordinal numbers that's how you do your ordinal numbers. So I hope you keep practicing and going over your ordinal numbers. So until next time with Miss T, a time out for the alphabet, and of course more, I hope you sh like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.